Here we go, we are rolling out our odd down cycle circuit and I had an absolute shocker of a start. Look, I'm spiking up straight away because I didn't get clipped in and a few other people in the rear camera didn't get clipped in straight away. But got straight in the bunch and I hadn't actually ridden a full lap of this circuit until this lap. I thought there was going to be a gap before the race to get on there and have a practice but there was a race on before so although I actually got to the venue early I didn't actually get time to practice the lap so I was like just sit in this first lap check out the lines see how it feels because there's a it's quite a technical little course there's a couple of hairpins but look straight off the bat lads are just pinging it lads are attacking we are 47 seconds in and lads are pinging off the front and I'm like this is the hardest start, the hardest 10 minute start to a race I have had this season. Now, I think the legs weren't pinging, my bike handling was shocking. I could not master these corners. There was more chance of pigs flying than me getting around these corners and actually holding a wheel. I was having an absolute nightmare. I'll probably, this was like the main hairpin here. And I'll probably lose the wheel here. Look, you can see matey's made like two, three bite lengths on it. More than that. Look how much I've had to spike up. Like just burning matches to get back on his wheel. Because I've had an absolute mare around the corner. But that was the first time I'd done that corner at speed. And I was sort of thinking, don't worry, George. Keep your cool. As the race goes on, you will improve. Don't worry, I did not improve. I could not get around that corner for Toffee. If the old man was watching, he'd have been like, take your stabilizers off, son. But I could not get around that. And you burn a match getting out of that, getting back on, and it was super windy today. So the wind right now was like into off the left. So every time you turned left, super strong headwind. But I was struggling during this race because it was relentless attacks and where it was getting so strung out and single file and like crosswind stuff like that i mean i'm into a headwind here with the pace has eased up now because everyone's swung their choppers for the first two minutes in that first lap but where we were strung out like single file you don't get as much benefit as of a draft as you do in like a peloton there was probably over over 20 of us racing but you've still, like for me anyway, I'm still working hard in the, in the wheels because there's, there was just nowhere to hide. It was full on. It eased a bit here, then bang, someone else goes over the, over on the right. And you, I was just like, eyes jumping out my head thinking, hello, this is going to be an interesting race. Because every, look at matey there, getting the knee out, loves it. But... I couldn't get around the corners, I was having to spike out the corners to get back on the wheel. And if you are not glued to the bloke's wheel in front of you, you're going to have to burn a match to either get back on it. Because out of every time out of the hairpin, you know it's going to get whacked. And you've got to get up to speed quick. So look, you'll see here, you come out this corner, whack. Boys are just pinging it. You're getting up to like 800 watts straight away and it was that relentless relentless attack and then it might ease and then all of a sudden it eases and you know someone else is going to whack it so probably here someone goes but I'm going to repl I'm going to play this whole first bit because you are going to see where I go from absolute hero to zero and I am a shell and I get shelled so just here you know another attack's about to come. People are looking about. People's think, people are thinking, who's going to go? You cannot go on your own around this circuit. Lad in blue and pink starts to wind it up. Thinks again about it. He's just testing the waters. Who's going to go with me? Absolutely love it. But yeah, you couldn't go solo around here. Or if you did, you were in for an absolute blinder of a race. You would have been deep in the hurt locker because it was just so windy. Then bang, lag goes again, absolutely giving it the ponies and the speed just ramps up. And you know that you come out of this corner here and you know that, look, I've let the wheel go in front yet again. I need a set of stabilizers. Dad would be absolutely fuming with these corners but I've had to burn a match again to get on this wheel and then matey goes again 
literally the first guy's only just been caught again and another couple go and you're like holy cow and then this guy starts winding it up and i'm not even like in the wheels here i've managed to get in the wheels but you just know as soon as you come out the next corner bang 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 and i need to work on my bike handling around these corners but you see here matey pulled over i sort of like bridge over but i was sort of really just shutting the gap down for everyone just out there burning another match as you do and at this point i realized my legs were not pinging today they were not pinging yet again come round this corner straight out of it but i wasn't as aggressive that time because people are looking around thinking it's time to attack again so we're what like six minutes in and i've seen 800 watts about five times and that's not far off like max per max beans for me i ain't got a lot left in the tank for that so i can't repeat these efforts too much but i'm on the front here doing my usual thinking i'm a legend i'm an absolute hero and really i'm thinking i'm in a hole here i am in a hole i do not want to be on the front right now I want to be in the wheels recovering from them surges where I've been trying to shut down gaps because you're looking at the rear camera, lads are probably chilled, but I'm thinking I've got to move over to the left and I need someone to come through, give me a hand because those attacks to start were absolutely relentless. I was just thinking, when are they going to end? Like, how many times could I keep doing this? And out of the corners how many times could i shut down that gap because i had my stabilizers on and i couldn't get around the corner but look look at that look at the gap he's opened on me out of that corner and then they start whacking it and other matey whacks it and i've jumped on his wheel and i think just round here he flicks the elbow there and i'm like oh god i do not need this right now so i try not to go but he's not interested so i'm like right i'm gonna take it up give it a little nudge and try and shut down that gap this was the worst decision i could have made see another lag comes past look at that getting nice and like he was caught look at the speed he held into that corner I'm like an absolute granddad around that corner. But into the headwind now, I'm still on the front and I'm thinking, just shut this down, shut this down. And hopefully when we get about 10 minutes in, the pace will ease, everyone will stop swinging the choppers. But look, guys are bridging over now and I'm panicking because I'm thinking I'm really hurting and I'm not closing the gap down. The bath guy comes round me because he's looking, thinking this guy is an absolute noodle. Look, and he whacks it out of this corner to start, start trying to shut down the gap. And watch this in a second. I cannot hold his will. He must. He looks over. He looks over and he stops pedaling. He's like, look at this absolute maggot behind me. He can't even hold my will. And I was, at this point, I was totally shelled. I was like, just give me a will to get on. I need any will. I'm into the headwind off the left here. Everyone's coming past me. Everyone's coming past me. If you take one thing from this video, it is to never, ever give up. I am getting shelled right now. I am out of the back. I am gone. And now I just thought to myself, just keep pushing on the pedals if the pace eases i can get back on i did not give up and i was super proud of this bit here because i was out of the back shelled and i thought if the pace eases i'm back on the pace eased i managed to just get back on around this corner and i was like thank god for that like nine minutes in i'm still in the bunch only just and then boys started whacking it again so i got back in and they whacked it down here, strung it out, and I got dropped again. That is twice in 10 minutes that I've been dropped. So exactly the same principle. I was like, right, just dig in. Do not quit. Because as soon as you stop pushing the pedals, you will look up and they'll ease. And you will be absolutely devastated with yourself. So if you just keep doing all you can do... And just pray. I'm I'm looking in front of me right now and I'm like, please ease. I'm doing like 350 watts because I'm getting zero benefit of the draft. And I'm just like, if they ease, I can get back on and hopefully the pace will ease. And look, they've all started freewheeling. 
and I got back on. I got dropped twice and got back on twice and we are 10 minutes into the race. That was the most disgusting 10 minutes of my life. I was a complete shell and at this point I knew today I just needed to be in the wheels, not going on the front. Just I was literally in pure survival mode now. That was the worst 10 minutes of my life. It was savage. I just but I, if you take one thing from this, it is do not quit. Push on the pedals, give it what you can. But then instantly, it was just like, after that, it was attack, attack, attack. And I was dropping again here. Thankfully, this army lad absolutely saves my bacon here. Because if he flicks his elbow now, there is nothing I can do to help him shut down this little gap. I mean, it's only probably a couple of bite lengths, but you can see how strung out it gets when the attacks go. And honestly, it's the hardest start to a bite race I've had this season. Maybe I was carrying a bit of fatigue in the legs, but it was as if everyone, every man and his dog in this race was attacking. And to add to that, I couldn't get round the bloody corners. So not only were they attacking and I was having to whack to get into the attacks, I was also getting dropped on the corners. But look here, I've jumped forward as soon as it was attack, attack, attack. I cannot explain how many attacks were going off during this race. And same again here, matey, the Bristol guy in the white kit here absolutely saved my bacon again. Because you can see, look, gaps are opening, it's getting strung out. And then we get back on and then bang, attack again, another attack, another attack. And I was just thinking, when is this going to ease? When are these boys going to like have no matches left? Because I've burnt all mine in the first 10 minutes. And we're like 16 minutes in. You can see them spikes out of the corners as well. They're absolutely savage. But honestly, I couldn't believe the amount of attacks that were going off. Just here again, I've tried to go with this one and I'm thinking, holy cow, my legs cannot cope with this. I'm spinning my absolute backside off at 120 RPM. And you can see we, we've managed to get like a tiny bit of a gap in the rear view camera. Mate, he starts getting really animated because he wants me to pull through and shut it down. But honestly, if I had pulled through and shut it down, I hate to say this because normally I would be the first man to pull through and help shut that down. But look, guys are trying to bridge over now. But if I had gone through at that point and shut it down, I probably would have got blown out the back again. It's as simple as that. Sometimes you have to be, when your legs aren't pinging, you have to be selfish. But I've jumped forward. We're like 30 minutes in now. And I've pulled through just at this point. So this was the main break that got away. You can see them just up the road. There's about six. I'm doing what I can. I've peeled off, flipped the elbow. I'm hoping the next guy goes through because I just need a wheel to jump on. There's Bath, matey. He was pretty strong earlier. So guys have pulled through. I'm like, just get on a wheel, get on a wheel. Look, even out of that corner, it's spiking because people have seen six guys up the road now. When you get six, matey there pings it to go across. And in hindsight, you sit here watching this. We're 30 minutes into a 45-minute race, seven or eight guys going up the road, and you think, that's the attack I need to be in. And I could see that but I did not have the legs to go with it. It's as simple as that. You can see I'm falling back. I'm losing the wheel again. And there was absolutely nothing I could do, do about it. I couldn't go with it. I couldn't react to it. I'd burnt all my matches in the first 10 minutes. And to be honest, I was just proud of myself at this point to still be in the race. These boys were strong. They were giving it the berries. They were giving it ponies. You can see here, this is the peloton now of what's left. Seven have gone off the front. This guy's like waving through, telling us to do turns. And he was moaning at me during the thing. But I was just like, look, I cannot do a turn. Like, I do not have the legs. There is only... So there's the seven up the road now. And if you look, this is the last lap now. If you look over on the left, they only had about 100 metres. They were just round the corner. But there were seven, or, seven of them, five of us trying to chase it down. And I mean, when I say chase it down, I was doing absolutely nothing to chase it down. I was just in there surviving. But... 
I honestly couldn't believe I was still there at this point. And we've got obviously the seven up the road and now us guys are still in with a chance at a point. So there's five or six of us, maybe something like that, that are going to sprint it out for eighth. We knew we weren't going to make up that hundred meters. The break knew we were there or thereabouts and they started to pick up the pace again because they were like, look, if they catch us, there's a chance none of us get in the, some of us don't get in the points. But it really got, I've got one rule in racing and it is to do everything in my nature to stay on two wheels. It's as simple as that. I do not want to get injured. I do not want to damage my bike. I do not want to risk anything for a bike race. It's as simple as that. There's points on the line, yes, but that is my one rule that I have at every bike race I do, especially on the road. I'm not willing to do anything that could potentially risk that. So coming down here, you wanna watch the rear camera. We're coming into the last corner now. So I'm in a pretty decent position to get some points. And look at this guy, he goes to dive bomb me and he starts shouting and I look in my peripheral vision, I hear that, I bottle out of it and I am on the grass, <laughs> doing 800 watts on the grass. And it was at this point here, I was like, I'm in the wrong gear because I was on the grass, I eased up, let it happen. But I'm gonna, I rolled over the line and to be honest, I couldn't even believe that I was still there at f it to get roll over in like 13th place. But I'm gonna play that clip again but put the sound on so you can hear the guy that was coming up. He started shouting and he's like, ah, chopper. And I saw him in my peripheral vision. And if I'd gone for the line that I wanted to take, obviously tight, it would have just been absolute man down. And I saw him in my peripheral, bottled it, and ran wide. As soon as you take your eye off the line, it's game over. So I'll play that clip so you can hear it. Honestly, odd down, what a brutal circuit. Surges, surges, attacks everywhere. The most brutal 10 minutes to start a race of my life. I don't know how I managed to get anywhere even near the points at the end. I did not have the legs on the day, but that's the thing, you win some, you lose some, and if you take anything from this video, it is just to never stop pushing the pedals. I got dropped twice then, I was completely out the back, but because I didn't give up, and it's one thing my dad always says, just do not give up, because if the pace eases, you get back on, and you might be able to recover. So don't give up, give it berries, I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, not in the points for me, but I gave it my best shot and I'll catch you in the next one.